Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth here. So I'm back on the Camino um, for day eight. I um, had like a two kilometer walk to go back onto the Camino from the vegetarian farm and I just passed the old Roman bridge. Um, I think I just did a big loop because I could have just taken the main road right here to this market, but that's okay. I left the vegetarian farm this morning and after walking out of the gates, I had like a 20 minute kind of an emotional meltdown just because, um, I don't know, it was such a nice and beautiful experience. I'm, I'm not even sure like the reason for some of the tears. Um, the lady that's tending the farm, she brought me a homemade baked loaf of bread. Um, and if you've ever had homemade bread, it's so heavy. So now I have another pound in my bag. And um, I don't know, she just gave me a big hug and a kiss goodbye. And it was just a very, very sweet experience, which I think is one of the things I wanted to experience in Portugal is more of the stuff with the locals and obviously meeting other pilgrims. Um, I need to keep this video kind of short because my phone battery is draining like crazy. Um, I've only walked three kilometers and I've lost 20% battery and so I, I do need my phone for the day. Um, but yeah, I think it's like when I left the farm, all of this is so symbolic to just this general theme of having to let go, continuously letting go and moving forward in life. And you know, when you can take these kind of cathartic lessons and apply them to your life, whether that's through thoughts, actions, and behaviors, you can move forward, um, you know, more level-headed and more grounded. And the one thing that I guess I'm enjoying about this experience thus far is, <clears throat> I don't know, there's people with soul, you know. I actually have only met one human being so far. He was kind of like an older German man who said he was here for spiritual reasons. He did the Camino Frances, I think last year or the year prior, and he said he started for sport and ended with spiritual reasons. So the way or the reason he's doing this is because of um, spiritual reasons, and that's the same for me as well. I don't know if you can see um, the road behind me. This is like an old Roman road, by the way, so it's kind of neat. It's fucking hell to walk on. My heels are killing me and I'm like three or four kilometers in already. Oh wow, look how pretty this is. Um, so, you know, it, it's just interesting why we are all here for different reasons. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is this is a very deep spiritual change that I'm not even sure how to really explain or express because things just naturally organically change. And I think so many people are stuck and the way that I have helped myself a lot is not only through spiritual tools and tasks or theories or programs, whatever, but just getting out of the comfort zone and exploring a new place. I really think this is one of the best ways to heal yourself is going kind of through these like cathartic experiences and I have more thoughts on letting go but I do need to save my phone battery um so anyways I hope you get to enjoy a little bit of the view here I want to take some pictures with my DSLR I mean if you if you can see this this is just this is like medieval land it's just so ancient it's like the way these trees grow and how everything is just in its natural setting. Um, I honestly, I don't know how I'm going back to Seattle. I leave Portugal today. I'm seven days in, well basically day eight, but um, I'm a week into walking. I walk into Tui, Spain today and then I have basically a week of walking in Spain um, and the weather is turning shit next week. So I don't know. I'm gonna savor every moment of this country because these people have been so nice and Although I've met people like other pilgrims, um, not as many as I wanted, but I don't know, the locals here, they're just, they won't let you die <laughs> on the trail. They've, they've been, all of them have been so helpful at every place I've been to. And it's, that's the endearing, sweet act of kindness that I guess a lot of us 
spiritual hippies talk about and I think I I get sad is because kindness can be a weakness as well and people take advantage of that and the business world is cutthroat I I don't know it's like people have soul here you know some Europeans they have soul left and I don't want to bash my country I don't want to bash America because the reality is America's soul has been sold I mean if money is the root of all evil we're chasing around money sex all these different things that <laughs> all you need to do is just live your life and see the world and things naturally change it's a way better teacher than any college education could ever give you and that's what I'm sad about it's the socially engineered soul that has been sold and I noticed this big shift in the new millennium but these are just some thoughts I gotta go bye